Remember back in September and October of 2022 when I made a three-part ranking series of every challenge that has ever been in BFDI? Well, I decided that I'm going to do the same thing again, but with inanimate insanities challenges. Unlike that one though, this is going to be all one part, and I also won't be including any tiebreaker challenges. Anyways, if you aren't already, please make sure to subscribe with notifications on, as it was much appreciated. The Crappy Cliff This is the very first challenge in the entire series, and it is... To dive off of a cliff and try to land in the water instead of the elephant poop. That's kind of gross. This one will probably end up being pretty low in the final ranking. A Lemony Lesson In this one, Team Epic and Team Chicken Leg have to pick as many lemons from the trees as they can and place them into their buckets. It's a pretty basic challenge, but at least it isn't gross like the last one. It goes above that one, by the way. The Arena of Death the challenge is the same as the title of the episode. The contestants have to throw rocky assets at each other to try and knock out the other team. It's a pretty basic challenge idea, but once again, better than the last. One Shot Wonder This episode sees yet another simple challenge idea, to use a slingshot to send your teammate across a gorge. This one is pretty boring to watch, aside from knife-flinging Marshmallow's corpse across. I think below Lemony Lesson is where it'll be in the ranking. The Stacker. Here's yet another boring challenge idea. Stacking golf balls. It's so boring, in fact, that even they acknowledge that this was a boring challenge in the episode. For that, it goes below One Shot Wonder, but not all the way to the bottom. War de Guacamole. The episode is the first with two challenges in one. The first is between the ten hopeful debuters, and it is a paintball challenge. Finally, something that's actually interesting to watch. Probably the first time since the Arena of Death. After Apple debuts is the second challenge, which is a relay race. The first pair cross a lake of poop with platforms on it, the second climb onto a platform and jump into guacamole, hence the name of the episode, and the third have to cross a gorge with a saw blade at the bottom. This might be my favorite one so far. Like the paintball challenge, it's actually an interesting watch. It goes to the top, with the paintball challenge not that far behind. Sugar Rush To celebrate Halloween, the contestants have to collect as much candy that Mephone scattered about as they can find in this episode. It's not all that creative, but I'll let it slide given the fact that this is a Halloween special. Above a Lemony Lesson. Foreseeing the Future Today, everyone has to cross a quicksand pit. Not much to say about this one other than it isn't creative in the slightest. Just above Crappy Cliff. The Snowdown In this one, the contestants have to cut down and decorate a Christmas tree. Like Sugar Rush, it's not all that interesting, but since it's a special, I will let it slide. I think I'll rank it just above Sugar Rush. Double Digit Desert In this episode, the contestants have to cross a desert. Yep, this is a race. The twist is that if you touch a cactus, you get stuck and are unable to continue, and that is a twist I like. There's also an electric fence that can jump, and Tyler Bungard. I may be annoyed when there are too many challenges of the same type sometimes, but it's fine if there's an interesting twist to it. All the way to the top with this one. Aquatic Conflict This episode's challenge takes place underwater. I'm always down for a change in scenery. The challenge is to find a gold coin at the bottom of the sea. Yeah, I think this one's pretty good. It'll be ranked just below War de Guacamole's Paintball Challenge. Crappy Anniversary This episode reuses the crappy cliff from episode 1. However, instead of just having to land in the water, the contestants also have to do an interesting dive as well. A fitting challenge for the series' one-year anniversary, a uh, redux like this, I think it goes above the stacker. Inanimate Smackdown 
Like BFDI, we have a challenge that uses a tournament bracket. Unlike BFDI, however, instead of it being a staring contest, it is instead an actual battle arena. Not much to say about this one besides that, but I'll put it above the arena of death in the ranking. The Great Escape This episode is another with two challenges. The first is Mephone Says, which is literally just Simon Says but with Mephone's name, presumably for the ego boost. Intertwined with that one is a contest to catch the eliminated contestants. Intertwined because the contestants refuse to actually do it until Mephone says the line. The second is easily better than the first. It's hardly a contest, no pun intended. Mephone says goes above Crappy Cliff, while the contestant recapture gets sandwiched between War de Guacamole's challenges. The Tile Divide In this episode, the contestants have to cross a tile bridge, and they might fall through the faulty tiles if they're not careful. In and of itself, the challenge is nothing special, but the solution each pair comes up with to try to win is interesting to see. I think I will rank this above a lemony lesson. Journey Through Memory Lane I am not including Penultimate Pole's so-called challenge, because the wiki says it is, since it's literally just an eliminated contestant vote. Instead, I'll skip to the finale, whose challenge is all of the previous ones together, ending with a race to the finish. I'll rank it around the middle of Season 1's challenges, and not higher, since BFDI already did it about a year earlier. Breaking the Ice Season 2's premiere is yet another double challenge episode. The first one is the one that decides the team captains, to stay on the Gladstonian Glacier. A literal icebreaker is certainly a creative challenge idea. The second challenge, not so much. It's just a game of dodgeball. Definitely not a bad challenge, though. The glacier goes above aquatic conflict, while the dodgeball game goes above lemony lesson. Season 2 is off to a pretty strong start, it seems. Marsh on Mars The episode title says it all. Marshmallow ended up on Mars after a trap by the cherries that was meant for Apple, hit her instead, so now the bright lights and the Grand Slams have to work to rescue her within an hour. That is a great challenge idea in my opinion. It's actually really creative to take a bad situation and make a challenge out of it. Top of the list for the time being. Try your best. This episode's challenge is a triathlon. For those who may not know, triathlons involve swimming, cycling, and biking. It also doubles as a relay race. Wait, this is very similar to War de Guacamole's second challenge. Still pretty good though, so I'll place it just below Aquatic Conflict. Cooking for the Greater Good This episode's challenge sees each team have to make a pizza. It's a simple one admittedly, but it isn't boring at least in my opinion. Probably the weakest of season 2 so far though, right below Try Your Best. A kick in the right direction. Here, in this episode, is just a game of soccer. There isn't really anything special about this one, but it's still better than a few of Season 1's challenges. This one will go just above One Shot Wonder. Letter R.I.P. Even though this episode released in February, this challenge involves the contestants having to be the last one to be scared out of a haunted house. I really like this one. It'll go above Double Digit Desert. Theft and Battery I'm skipping everything's AOJ because a coin toss doesn't really count as a challenge. In this one though, the challenge is to go get a new battery for me phone since he caught Tissue's condition, died, then Lightbulb added soy sauce making it worse. Honestly, this episode's challenge is mostly just an excuse for some world building, which I respect, but this video isn't about that. I don't want to be too harsh though. Above Aquatic Conflict. Mazed and Confused. Despite the name, Rain on Your Charade actually lacks a challenge, so we have to skip to episode 10, whose challenge is to make it through a hedge maze that has various traps in it. Simple, but with a twist that's creative enough. Above Double Digit Desert. Kick the Bucket. 
This one is another simple challenge. Carry buckets back and forth from the lake to your team's bucket. I really don't have much to say about this one, so I'm just going to put it above the arena of death. Alternate Reality Show This episode's challenge very much takes a backseat to the main plot of Test Tube and Lightbulb's time travel shenanigans. That said, painting is a good challenge idea, but it is also a boring one to watch. So maybe the backseating was a good thing for the sake of the episode's quality. Probably the worst challenge of Season 2, below the stacker. Mind Your Own Business Unlike Alternate Reality Show, this episode's challenge is actually intertwined with the plot. In it, Meepad commands the remaining contestants to head into the mines and seek out Meepone's memories, which are shaped like gemstones. Gemories, if you will. That is what they're called according to the wiki, after all. There's a twist as well. The last contestant who can't find one will be instantly eliminated. Great challenge, I like the visuals that are there as a result as well, and mixing plot into it, even better. Top of the list. Hatching the plan. Van got abducted by the aliens that own the egg. Now it's up to the contestants to go save him. Just like last time, intertwining the plot and the challenge works well here, and the visuals are, once again, fantastic. Just barely below Mind Your Own Business, and as this is the last episode of Season 2 currently, that means challenge-wise, it's gone out on a high note. Stranded in Paradise And we're back to simpler challenges. It's kind of similar to the crappy cliff, but it's more like the pee cliff since it just has a pipe at the bottom which can launch each team across the finish line. It works well enough, I guess. Above the snow down. The Shame of the Name It's just a team naming challenge. What am I supposed to say here? Below a kick in the right direction is probably it. Snapshot Showdown The challenge here is to get an embarrassing picture of a contestant on a different team. Another simple one, but I actually really like it. Above Mazed and Confused. The Overthinkers. Maybe I'm the one overthinking, but this challenge really wasn't anything special. Climb a volcano and hit a button. Most of the episode was focused on who the thinkers were going to vote out. But once again, I'm worried about challenges, not the episodes themselves. Above the crappy cliff. It's not that bad, but points are docked for being rigged against the thinkers, since the floor physically could not hit the button. Tragedy at 60 feet. In this one, they have to do a classic science experiment. Build a contraption to protect an egg when the contraption is dropped off a cliff. It's pretty nice, I think. It'll go above double-digit desert. Try not to laugh challenge. Now that is a very creatively named episode, am I right? The challenge is exactly that, but some of the contestants have to make the others laugh too. It is a creative challenge, unlike the title of it. Above Marsh on Mars. Best Served Cold Mephone 4 has a hankering for a mile-high pie after Clover gives the suggestion, so the challenge is for each team to make him one. I don't have much to say here, admittedly, other than in that it goes above breaking the ice's glacier challenge. Out of body experience. Racing to the middle of a bridge is a very uninteresting challenge. What makes this one interesting is the body swapping that also happens in this episode, so the contestants who are unused to each other's bodies have to do it. That makes an otherwise boring challenge far more interesting. Above Snapshot Showdown. Title TBD. Oh hey, it's the episode with Saber Spark's guest star appearance. The challenge is to make a cartoon, how meta. It's a fun idea, so I'll put it above tragedy at 60 feet. I am Chocolate. This episode sees a rejoin challenge. They have to cross a balance beam, knock a bag of letters off a pole, and use those letters to spell transformation. Mephone is terrible at spelling, though, so the right letters weren't in the bag. Cabby ended up winning since she was able to get the closest with the letters she had. Cool idea, but it goes below Sugar Rush. Pesty Besties This one is a Pokemon spoof. 
the contestants receive inanimates and have to raise them, then make them fight each other. I'm down for that, it was a fun one. Above Marsh on Mars. Home is where the heart is. Miphone tries to do several different challenges that won't be counted, but keeps getting interrupted by the floor. So he has the contestants try to get rid of him by making it a challenge. Situational challenges like these do tend down to turn out to be a good idea in my opinion, and this is no exception. I think I'll place it above Double Digit Desert. Friend or Froze We leave off on an anniversary special, with a tribute to all three first episodes. How fitting! Unfortunately, I don't really think reusing challenges is very cool. Below Stranded in Paradise And that's all of the challenges. Now for the worst to best ranking. The Crappy Cliff The Overthinkers The Great Escape Mephone Says Foreseeing the Future Alternate Reality Show The Stacker Crappy Anniversary One Shot Wonder The Shame of the Name a Kick in the Right Direction A Lemony Lesson Breaking the Ice Dodgeball The Tile Divide I Am Chocolate Sugar Rush The Snowdown Friend or Froze Stranded in Paradise The Arena of Death Kick the Bucket Cooking for the Greater Good Try Your Best Aquatic Conflict Theft and Battery Breaking the Ice Glacier Challenge Best Served Cold War de Guacamole's Paintball Challenge The Great Escape's Contestant Recapture Challenge War de Guacamole's Relay Race Challenge Double Digit Desert Tragedy at 60 Feet Title TBD Mazed and Confused Snapshot Showdown Out of Body Experience Letter R.I.P. Marsh on Mars Pesty Besties Try Not to Laugh Hatching the Plan And Mind Your Own Business Thank you all for watching, and I hope to catch you all in the next video.